What's good, y'all boys? It's Diego Saint, aka T2D. And today, feel me, I'm gonna be showing y'all the final dribble tut of NBA 2K24. The year's basically done. So if anyone else keeps dropping dribble tutorials back to back to back, like it's honestly a waste because the year's basically done. There's not much more to learn. But if you wanna dribble like me, J Rock, Melo, Zay, Wani, Fendi, Autumn Boys, and more advanced, that this is the dribble tut for you. It's gonna be an all in one video, SIGs, and how to, you know, feel me, use the SIGs, like actually dribble and combo with them. So I'm gonna be showing y'all boys how to L2 cancel, left stick cancel. All that quick stop peak, all that, all that, all that stuff in this video. So, and I did find out that 72% of people that watched the last wager video against Jason Getum are not subscribed to the channel. So, it's free, you feel me, to support me and you know, make my dreams come true. You could just drop a sub real quick like this, boom, and you're done. You feel me? I don't want to waste y'all time and let's get right into it. All right, so this is the most important part right here the SIGs. If you don't have these, you, you can't do, you feel me, what I do. What all these guards are doing, you feel me? You can't do none of that. So, boom, signature size of Deer and Fox, regular breakdown, also Deer and Fox, aggressive breakdown, John Morant, escape, Kemba Walker. This is if you cannot get Kemba Walker, if you have an 85 ball handle or below, you can use Jimmy Butler instead. He's a good alternative. I just prefer Kemba Walker. And yeah, yeah. the aggressive breakdown, the John Morant, you don't really like need this move, but you could do this glitchy move with it, and I'm sure y'all, you know, later. Combo moves, Tim Harden, crossover, John Wall. This is very, very important for moves like this. Little boy, little boy, little boy. Behind the back, Jamal Murray, spin, Penny Hardaway, Hezzy, John Morant, and a step back, John Wall, also very broken. It's like the LeBron step back from 2K20. As you see right here, it's just like where you can move up and step back and get wide open, you feel me? And I'm pretty sure this also gives you the snatch. Also the behind the back, Jamal Murray, very important. Dribble style, you're gonna wanna go with pro, for this one move especially if you like shooting mid ranges pro or lebron james magic johnson used to be good but it got patched so either pro or lebron james preferably pro for this one move i'm gonna show y'all especially if you like shooting the midi and if you do like shooting the midi i recommend kobe bryant dribble pull up or pro 2 dribble pull up i like kobe bryant dribble pull up but some people say pro 2 is pretty good but i don't know it's iffy to me that shit is dirty to me all right so now we got the six down you're gonna want to come here to practice not the gatorade court the gatorade court is ass they give you adrenaline there and stamina there for some reason. It's like it's not like the old my courts. They just like like this is just better. You get infinite, infinite. You feel me? Adrenaline, infinite stamina, so you can just dribble your heart out. And this is located right here on the map, the top right. Pretty easy to find. It's called Art of Shooting Gym. Top right, I'm zooming for y'all. And yeah, it's right here. So we want to go in here to dribble. It is the best spot in the game. All right, so the first move we're gonna start very simple is the Kemba crossover. You just you feel me? It, it's this move right here. This. You could use it to crab people where like they get behind you and it adds no contest like for example if this guy if, if this guy's right here like this and i go like that i can shoot the shot and it would be no contest it gave me a layup but just you know imagine it was a three so that's one way to use the move another way which is the main way people use is you know the crossover and that's a left stick or l2 cancel right there this right here there's a difference between all right this is left stick this this is left stick you see you see and this is l2 cancel the left stick is way quicker so this is left stick cancel and this is l2 cancel you see what I'm saying? For the Kemba Walker, you're just gonna wanna boom, hold R2, flick it to the opposite ball hand, and then just run with it right after. As you can see on the top right, the hand cam, if you're confused, like that. And the L2 cancel is very easy. I'm gonna just show it to y'all right now just to get it out the way so I can show y'all how to combo and do everything. The left stick is a little harder, I'm not gonna lie. It is very much harder, I'm not gonna lie. But the, left, the L2 cancel is very easy. So the L2 cancel, you just wanna run, after one dribble, you just tap L2 and then do whatever dribble you want. So, boom. Hold R2 the whole way. Unless you're trying to do a step back like this. And if you're in the mid-range, another thing I learned, if you're in the mid-range, you can't L2 cancel. This is what happens if you're trying to L2 cancel in the mid-range. It gives you a post. Like, it makes you post up. I recommend starting with just a crossover and then a behind the back like that. So, you can just, like, you can just do that like that like that. If you have confusion on it, realistically just look at my mind player and look at the hand cam you can slow it down you can put the video 0 0.25 0 0.5 speed whatever you need so you can learn how to do it so the next good move is the step back the step back is the easiest one of the easiest moves in the game you just cross run up and just step back literally simple you just run up let go of everything flip down on right stick that's it you just runs let go of everything flip down on right stick run let go of everything flick up on right stick flick down on right stick down on right stick down on my stick you see it is the easiest move like in, in the entire game now for the behind the back this is the behind the back the jamal Murray behind the back 
I bet most of y'all have been cooked by this multiple times. This move right here. It is broken. It gives you so much base. Like, I'm at the arc right now. Ooh, I'm damn near at the wing. You see what I'm saying? Especially coming up with the L2. Oh my god. Look how much space it gives you, bro. I'm gonna lie, I have to take my shirt off. It's hot as hell in this room. Alright, now for the John Wall crossover. This move is very, 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 very broken. I can't stress it enough how overpowered this move is. You could run up, someone's in front of you, and you just cross. Boom. And, and it'll push you in front of them. Especially if they're holding hands of defense. If they're holding hands of defense, it, it's just gonna stun them. Imagine Jalen Brown is defending me. I go like this. Cross right in front of him and then dunk that shit. All you need to do that move, bro. All you need is just R2 and diagonally up. Diagonally up. You see on the hand cam, diagonally up on the opposite hand. So you'll run up and then diagonally up. Now on the right side, run up, diagonally up. So if you're on the right side, diagonally up left. Or if it's in your right hand, diagonally up left. If it's in your left hand, diagonally up right. Now for the pro dribble style. This is what you need the pro dribble style for. This crossover right here. This crossover right here. All right, the next move is the snatch. You know, snatch, simple move. You just hold R2 and then down on the right stick. You can combo this out of like any move. You could like, you could, you could like use this out of any move. Like there's really no move you can't, you can't snatch back out of. I really, I really think you could snatch back off of any move. So to do this move, you just hold R2 down on the right stick and you can combo it out of any move. So, feel me. And now the momentum, the momentum, simple, it didn't every 2K. If you can't build momentum by now, you really need this dribble sword. I'm not gonna lie. So just look at my hand cam. If it's in your left hand, you wanna flick. You wanna hold R2, by the way. You wanna flick like you're doing a like you're doing a John Wall crossover. And then you're gonna move your left stick also in the same direction as your right stick. And then you can just spam that over and over and over and over. Alright, so now I'm gonna try and show y'all how to do the left stick cancel. Um, I'm gonna try to. Man, this is a hard move to learn, I'm not gonna lie, but you'll get the hang of it the more you do it. You just gotta keep doing it and then eventually you'll get it, bro. Trust me. So you dribble, and right when you do the dribble move, you, you just do another one. Simple as that. And you want to hold R2 the whole time. You see how, you see how like, my player is just, like, mo he's slightly moving. You're going to see my player slightly going to move to the left, and then he's going to do it behind the back. Watch. Boom. Boom. Slightly move to the left. Slightly move to the left. Slightly move to the left. Like, sl very slight. Once you see your player do, do a little, do a little, like, like you, you, you just do the next move. Right once you, you do the next move. And you just want to, like, flick the left stick. You're gonna like damn near flick it. It's not like a full, it's not, it's not like you're flicking it like, like, like that. Look, look at the hand cam right now. It's not like you're flicking it like this. It's not like you're just like, like flicking it. Like you gotta like slightly flick it. So boom, you could do it. The left stick cancel literally infinite times. You could do a double snatch off of it. Boom, left stick, left stick, left stick, left stick. You can even do a double beat. Look, this without left stick, this is what a double behind the back would look like. It would look like this. But with left stick, it looks like this. You see? You could just do it infinitely. If I don't use left stick, it's going to look like this. It's going to look iffy. So now that y'all boys know all these drip moves, I'm going to just show you the last thing. It is very... This is so easy to shoot off of. Like, whenever I shoot off of this, 90% of the time is green. Even if it's a bad day, even if I'm shooting terrible. This is how you do it right here. You cross, off one dribble, and then you shoot it. Simple like that. Simple like that. That's one thing I forgot to mention. This is not the same delay as Park. Neither is Gatorade. No... No court that is not an online court with other players is going to be the same delay as Park, Stage, Pro-Am, Rec, none of that. If you're not playing with other people, it is not going to be the same delay I'm telling you right now. So you might be dribbling like Steez on here and you get in the park and you dribble completely off. That's why I just recommend hopping here for 10 minutes maybe and then going to the park and then you feel me. And this applies with every 2K from goddamn 2K15 to 2K30. It's always going to be like that. So you do a cross, you take one dribble, and then you let go of everything, and you just shoot it. Simple like that. Simple like that. And if you don't know how to do it, remember, I have this hand cam for a reason. If you don't know how to do any of the moves, just look at the hand cam and look at my player. Put the video on 0.25 speed, 0.5 speed. You press the little settings button, playback speed, and it should be right there. So what you do is you do a cross, one dribble, and then boom. I think you can do this off any move, to be honest. I just did it uh, from uh, between the legs. So you can do it off really any dribble move, I think. But I just like to do it off the cross. Real quick, easy, simple shot right there. And it's, like, un uncontestable, damn near. Like, if you got space on them, it is, like, damn near uncontestable. I'm not going to lie. So, yeah, chat, that is it for this video. If y'all have any questions, leave it down in the comments below. I will answer them. I try to answer every comment, like every comment. You feel me? And, yeah, I appreciate all y'all boys that drop a sub, a like, post notice, all that, all that. First person to comment tough with a fire emoji, I'm going to pin your comment. 
So let's see, feel me, who the first person is. But I'm gonna catch y'all, boys. Stay safe. And yeah, yeah, yeah.